Welcome back to the carcynic.com and linuxslate.com YouTube channel. My name is John and this is part two of my review of the Polymaster Gamma Detector watch. In the previous video we saw an overview of the watch as well as some other really cool products uh, that also incorporate a dosimeter or radiation meter on a watch. I suggest you watch that video if you hadn't before. The link can be found in the description. In this video we're going to go over the Gamma Detector watch in a little bit more detail. Here's a diagram showing the internal components. You can see on the left of this photo the actual geiger moyer tube inside the watch, along with some of the major components of the high voltage power supply needed to drive it, uh, as well as some other of the general components. One thing that we're going to see in this video is because of not only the size of the tube, but the fact that they only run the high voltage power supply for a few milliseconds every couple seconds, we're going to see that the watch is not as fast to reply, respond as, for example, our uh, kind of old faithful here, Terra P. Before we begin the demonstration, I'd like to point out a couple aspects of the display of the Polymaster PM1208. No matter which mode the watch is in, the graph at the top is going to show us our acute dose. The circle on the left is going to show us our accumulated dose, in other words, the dosimeter function. I've reset the dosimeter recently, and I set it to one millisievert which is the recommended maximum dose for a normal person, in other words, not a nuclear power plant worker or radiation worker, for one year. So over the course of a year, that round dial will fill up showing me my percentage of a dose that I've received. For both of these dials, the scale is relative to whatever you've set the threshold value to. We're going to put the watch in acute dose mode and I'm going to turn on the audible clicks. Now I'm doing the audio for this with a headset so I'm not sure that you'll be able to hear those clicks. So before we look at the at see how the watch reacts let's move it away for a minute and bring a piece of uranium ore near the Terra P dosimeter and see how long it takes it to react. Now, to be fair, I'm going to leave the door. Okay, and we see that my piece of hyperactive nature um, puts the Terra P into alarm mode almost immediately. To be fair, I have left the beta particle blocking door on the back of the Terra P since there's no way to expose the tube in the gamma detector watch. We saw that the Terra P responded to the radioactive sample almost immediately, within seconds. For the Polymaster watch, we're going to start a stopwatch here as I bring the sample near the watch. That is clicking, but as of yet, there's no change on the display. Okay, so we see that it has now detected the sample 
we get a radiation reading and of course that's well past full scale on the acute dose. We'll also see that it takes quite a while for it to average out the counts that it got when the piece of ore was near it. Again, this does not mean the polymaster watch is inaccurate. It simply means that it's getting a very small sample over both volume of the small tube and time by the fact that the Geiger tube is only turned on for a very small amount of time every couple seconds. So the watch has to average out what it knows about the radiation environment. Does this mean that the Polymaster watch is not going to alert me to a dangerous radiation level? No, it doesn't mean that at all. The watch will still detect a dangerous level well before it would actually cause any harm to the wearer. The other part of this video details my attempts to connect the infrared function of the Polymaster watch to a computer running Linux, Wine, and the Polymaster software. The Polymaster software installed easily in Wine running on my Linux laptop. The software looks very sophisticated and professional and has quite a bit of functionality. To connect to the watch, I attempted to use a small USB infrared adapter. This worked, and in Linux, I was able to do an IR attach, and the IR attach recognized the Polymaster watch. The watch must be oriented towards the infrared transceiver. The IR transmitter on the Polymaster watch is actually located behind the accumulated dose display. I was actually able to get the Polymaster software to log the fact that it had discovered the watch. However, in my attempts, it would not actually connect and transfer any data. Not only can you pull accumulated dose information from the watch if the infrared connection is successful, but you can also adjust many of the settings, including setting the time which makes the watch set to NTP if your computer is connected to the internet. There's more about this on the linuxslate.com forums, and if you have any information that might help me get this to work end-to-end -end from the watch to the Polymaster software running on Linux, please post in the forums. Thank you for watching.